What in the heck is going on here? Reset. Stop. Um, is that stuff? Oh my god! That's a- <laughs> That's something! <laughs> hey guys, what is up? It's Amanda here, and welcome back to my channel, Who Do The Sims? So we are doing our very last episode of our Get Famous Let's Play today. It's actually really- I'm kind of upset about it because I really enjoyed this series. Um, for what it was, really. It wasn't a challenge by any means, it was just something I kind of made up, and it was really fun to do. Um, but it's coming to a close, unfortunately, and I wanted to end this series by throwing a house party and kind of getting everybody back together one last time, maybe taking some family portraits and stuff like that, and um, I just think it's going to be uh, a really good time, hopefully. Um, so we'll just do a house par party. We'll make it a gold event. Uh, I don't see why not. I've, obviously, Stephanie's going to be the host. Guess we're just going to invite pretty much anybody we know. Um, as you can see, we have a random dude in our family. His name is Jackson Barnhart, and I found him off the gallery, actually. I cannot remember the creator's name, but if you search that Sim's name on the gallery, he should come up. Um, and he is a photographer. So I downloaded him and maxed out the photography skills. So hopefully he can take some really nice family photos of the gang um, that we can cherish forever. And I think I might come out with a short little episode or at the end of this episode. I don't know just yet. Um, but I think it'd be a really fun idea to kind of show off all the screenshots that I have saved and taken from this series to kind of close things off right at the end. Again, I hope you guys really enjoyed this series as much as I enjoyed making it. I thought it was a really good time, and I can't wait to start a new series. I have already started the Rigs to Riches challenge, as you guys have, might have noticed. Um, and that one's really fun as well, just because I really like the Rigs to Riches challenge. Actually, we don't really need an entertainer, but we can hire a mixologist. We'll get a bar especially for this party. We don't need a caterer, and we'll just host it at the house. We'll set it for 5 p.m. just so we have some time to prepare for things. Um, but let's go ahead and let's get a bar so they can get Liddy, <laughs> um, and they'll have a good time. I don't know where I want to put this bar, actually. I want to maybe put it outside. Um, in that case, let's extend this out. Oh, that's spray, isn't it? Oh, it is. What the heck? Why did I think that was... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought that was actual, like, flooring in the game, but I guess not. That's fine. We can extend it out to maybe here. And we'll extend it to, like, this length over here and swing it back around. I even set up a small little... Well, it's not really small, but it's from the Moschino Stuff Pack. A little photography station with a little camera here. So, um, the family, so as in Haley and Stephanie and Dalton and... Um, what's his name? Um, Kelvin. Oh my god, I'm such a horrible person. They can all take pictures together and hang out one last time at this party. It's gonna be a good time. I'm really hoping it turns out well. Um, and I really hoped you guys enjoyed this series. Um, if you guys liked it, I kind of want to start another one. I don't know exactly what I would do for it, to be honest, just yet. But I am really enjoying watching Little Simsy's, um, what do you call it? The, like, spin spin the wheel of doom or something like that. I believe that's what she calls it. Um, but I really like that challenge that she's been doing and I kind of want to try it out um, uh, on my channel and kind of put my own spin on it. Maybe find out a way to actually make a wheel work, you know? Because she spins a wheel, quote unquote, but really she's just generating numbers between what and, one and whatever uh, the max number is of, you know, outcomes. So that'd be kind of an interesting thing to do. I kind of think that would be really fun to kind of experiment with and play along with. So we have everything we need, I think, for the party. We have a stereo here. Maybe we want a dance floor. Sorry, I'm like burping at the same time as I'm talking. And I do that quite frequently, so I apologize. But that's just, um, that's just the way it goes. That's just me. That's just how I am. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to put the dance floor inside just because our stereo is inside. I and mean, we just like plop it right down by the staircase. And I kind of like the colors that it's given us. Maybe we just do the solid black. I think that looks pretty nice. And we'll go into play mode. We're going to have Stephanie and Dalton prepare for the party. Let's have them cook up some stuff. 
So let's serve some clam chowder soup, because that sounds really good for a party, actually. And then we'll serve up one more meal, and then maybe we'll serve up some sort of dessert. Uh, neither of them have a high baking skill. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You are not doing that right now. Stop. Resume clam chowder, please. Thank you. Um, they were trying to Wicked Whims, and that's not going to happen, because um, they need to get stuff done. Haley, no, we're not talking to you. We're literally going to see you in, like, less than three hours. It's okay. Um, let's have Dalton start cooking something up as well. Let's have him cook some... Hmm. Oh, that's right. He learned that from the city. That would be interesting. Let's serve a party size of Sipayo, or however you say that. Um, and then Stephanie here. I'm going to have her bake something. Let's have her bake some sugar cookies. And it'll be a good time. And also, as you can see, Stephanie got a dog. Um, I have yet to get the dog anything for it to eat and stuff. He does not have anything to eat. She, my bad. Her name's Diamond. Um, but there's little Diamond. I think that was absolutely fitting for Stephanie to have a Pomeranian. Uh, just because, it, you know, it's that's something that a celebrity would have. Like, that kind of dog. Um, <laughs> and of course I had to name it Diamond because, you know, it sounds like super, super fancy when really it's just, it's a dog, you know? <laughs> um, let's put Diamond's bed right there. We'll get Diamond some toys as well. Where do we got the toys? They're in this toy chest, I believe. Yeah, we'll just get this white toy chest and we'll just get her some random balls and stuff. Um, I don't know if the meow balls or the bird balls or the mouse balls are, like, dog toys, but we'll just get them anyways. And then, what else do we got here? Actually, let's get, uh, Diamond a big bed, because I feel like Stephanie would really spoil her dog. Um, if she, you know, obviously because she has one, but I feel like Stephanie's the type of person to, like, go all out when she has animals or anything. And since it's such a small dog, I think it's really funny that we got it a big bed instead of the small little bed, because I feel like that's, again, that's what she would do. So, and I feel like maybe, just maybe, they would dress up quite a bit for this party because it's, you know, it's their last hurrah as a family. Well, you know, with the series as a family. And I feel like it'd be something, you know, it'd be something that they would do. So let's get another party outfit going. And let's get Stephanie, like, a really long dress that's really, really gorgeous and just drop-dead gorgeous that just, it, you know, it fits her personality. Like, maybe something like that. I don't consider this to be very gorgeous. Like, I would honestly wear something like this, you know, something plain. But Stephanie's not a plain person or plain sim, so we're going to give her this dress. It's very extravagant, and I think it would fit her very, very well. I kind of want to get her the pink... The pink one, I th I'm thinking. I don't know. Hmm. No, let's do the gold. I feel like she's, um, you know, she's trying to impress everybody at this party. So she's going to wear the gold one. And those shoes are, like, tinted green. So maybe we do these, like, bronzy gold colored ones. And then we'll put her hair down as well. And I feel like she would maybe dye her hair for the party so she looks young again. <laughs> um, that's probably just my thinking. Um, let's go ahead and give her a very fancy style, something like this. And she had, like, brown hair before, but maybe we do this brown with, like, the little tints of grays in there. And I feel like she would probably have that hair color for every single outfit because she is one of those, like, pretty high-maintenance sims that doesn't want to look super old, even though she does. You know, there's, like, no helping that. She is, she is now an elder, <laughs> um... And no bit of makeup's gonna change that. I'm sorry, Steph, but it's true. You're you're old. Some people do not look good when they're old, and that's just how it is. So she's just gonna have to deal with it um, and get over it and just, you know, accept the fact that she's not super young anymore. And I think it's kind of funny, honestly, because I remember her. I made her, you know, like I made her face, you know, I made everything about her. And the fact that she's super, super um, old now and I played with her that long for her to age into an elder just in this series is actually kind of incredible to me. Um, those are some CC earrings. I absolutely love them, though. So we're going to give her those. And let's go ahead and give her... No, I kind of want that really shiny... Um... The really shiny necklace, where is that one? With, like, all the diamonds and stuff. Where is that? 
Is that not under party? That's kind of weird. Why wouldn't that be an option for party? Huh. You guys know what I'm talking about, though. Like, the really, really blinged out diamond necklace. These ones right here. That's what I wanted in gold. Yes. See, that is, this is my, like, one last hurrah look that Stephanie would do. Honestly, Kelvin can wear whatever he wants, um, as long as he looks okay. Let's see what his formal is. See, his formal would work. His party, maybe not quite so much. So let's remember to put him in formal, and she would be in her party wear. So I think we're ready to go, and I think this is just going to be a really fun time. I can't wait to see how these family portraits turn out. I think I still have my pose mod pack so I can like get them in cute little poses together as a family and such and I think it'd just be a really good time. Um, I don't think that the baby could come along. However, maybe we want to go and age up um, Haley's baby. Let's go and do that actually. So let's save and go to Manage Worlds and let's age up Haley's baby. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and Derek aged up. So we aged him up. Let's randomize his trait. Sure, wild child, why not? <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and edit him in modify and create a sim because I wanna change his appearance. I wanna make sure he's well dressed for the party. It'll be a good time. Um we just invited Stephanie over because apparently she does not know Haley's um I think it's a boyfriend. I don't think they're married. But um, either way, they, uh, she does not know Haley's significant other or Kelvin's significant other, other Camilla. It's uh, Jared and Camilla. I'm such an awful person. I don't remember their names. Um, but we invited Stephanie over so she can get to know, um, so she can get to know them, and um, then so they can, you know, in turn come to the party because she can't invite them if she doesn't know them. I was having that issue actually uh, setting up that guest list because I didn't see them in the options. And I was like, what the heck, you know? Um, and I figured out it's because she doesn't know them. So we're going to change that and we're going to reschedule the party probably until the next day in game. Um, just because I want to have time to make sure we're completely prepared for it. Um, we can put all our food away as a leftover, so we should be ready to go, and we can just take them out when the party is ready to be begun. Um, so, yeah. That's my thought po process on this entire thing. Plus, I feel like it'd be kind of fun to play um, as Haley for a little bit, just to end the series off as well, because we have not touched them in a very long time. Oh, I like his cape costume. It's super cute. I don't know how Stephanie's gonna feel about it when he wears it to the party. But that's what he's gonna wear. I think that's super cute. And then his swimwear. Let's just give him that and these shorts. That's so cute. Hot weather. I actually kind of like his hot weather. Maybe we can change the shorts color like to these. And your tank top instead can be that one. No, let's do... um. That is super cute. I don't know about the shorts or the shoes though. Can we put sandals on you? We can! Oh my god, this is so cute. And it's cold weather. Let's see what we got for cold weather options. Um, oh, look at the new stuff we got from the holiday pack! You guys, we're putting him in that. That is so adorable. We'll give him little boots as well. Oh, look at him. And I want to put a hat on him because I feel like it would flatten his hair out. Super cute. Yes! Oh my god, he's so cute. There's Derek. There's his everyday, his formal, his sleepwear, his party, his swimwear, his hot weather, and his cold weather. What a cutie pie. Um, so yeah, we invited Stephanie over basically just so she knows who Camilla and who Jared is because she literally has no clue who they are. And therefore, we have no way of uh, inviting them to the party if we're playing as Stephanie. Um, and getting them over there. So that's a problem. Because otherwise we could have just had, you know, played as Haley and then invited them to hang out at the lot. But I feel like this way we could get to know them a little bit better. Um, and we can control them and actually be able to talk to Stephanie. I feel like we invited Stephanie over. She said she was coming over. Uh, but she's not here. Hold on. Invite to hang out at current lot. Stephanie, get over here. Come on. She accepted the invite before, so I don't know why she's not coming over here. Okay, if you're on your way, then show up, Stephanie. Oh my god, this is so irritating. She should be coming up here. What the heck? Is she not coming over? 
I don't understand, you guys. She's not coming over. What the heck? I don't get it. I don't get it. What if Haley invites her over? Will she come if Haley comes and invites her? Because I don't know. This is kind of getting annoying. Because I just wanted the herd to be able to invite them to the party. And if she can't come over, then what are we going to do? I don't see her down here anywhere. Oh my god. I don't get it. 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 Well, another way around this is to have these two travel. Uh, travel with your... Where's... Where's Jared? Why is that? Oh, there he is. I was like, what the heck? I don't see him. All right, let's travel and let's just go to her house because this is how we can get to know her and this is how we can get invited to the party. We'll just drop by, say hello, see what's going on and get to know Stephanie enough to at least know her so then we can invite her them to the party because I want every single family me uh, member to be able to come to this event just because it's, you know, it's the close of the series and I feel like it's kind of essential and important to focus on every single char character in the last episode. Oh my god, did she just... Oh no. Did she just go over? Come on. No. <sighs> what in the heck is going on here? Reset. Stop. Um, is that stuff? Oh my god! That's a- <laughs> That's something! We're gonna have to switch controls, that's right. Um, let's see. Modifying cast, because that'll switch controls to Stephanie. Because I remember that she, you know, she's obviously a celebrity, so she's not gonna just talk to them for any reason at all. Uh, they can't approach her. I feel like she will not accept them, you know, just barging into her house and saying hello. So we're going to have to have her greet them so they know each other. This is such a process, you guys. This is ridiculous. This is freaking ridiculous. Oh my god. Um, yeah, okay. So where is Steph? Steph is here. There's Camilla. Let's give Camilla a... A cheerful introduction, and then we will go ahead and give Jared a cheerful introduction as well. Because I think that might bring their social up a little bit higher than just greeting them and saying, you know, giving them a friendly introduction. That'll just, we'll get to know them a little bit faster that way, I think. Um, let's see here. Camilla, let's challenge her to be kind. Um, tell her a dramatic story. Compliment her outfit, even though she wouldn't do that. It's like a sarcastic compliment. Complain about bills and challenge to be kind. Do all that and now we know her at least so now we can get them to go to her party. That's exciting. Um, Since it is 10 o'clock si uh, you know, at sim night, maybe we don't play with the Collier family. So Haley and um, Kelvin, maybe we just stick with Stephanie. Because they'll, they'll come to the party, um, and we'll, you know, we'll invite them. I had to rearrange the party because we aged up little, um, oh, wait, does she not know her grandson? Hold on a second. She should know, okay, she knows Derek. Okay, good. Um, I was gonna say, uh, we need to redo the party because when we went over to age up Derek, it was, like, 3.30 in the afternoon, and by the time she actually went and aged up Derek, it was a little too late because we scheduled the party for 5 o'clock, and time passed, and um, the party started, and Derek was still a baby. So we're redoing that, and we're going to have the party on Tuesday instead of Monday, which is okay with me, I guess. Um, so there's Camilla, there's Calvin, we need to find Jared. Where's Jared? Jared's right there. Uh, Judith for sure. Where's Jennifer Lawrence? She's still bald. Oh my god, I can't believe that. <laughs> All my sims are bald. Push me to the edge. All my sims are bald. What the heck is Haley wearing? Do you guys see that? What the heck and heck? <laughs> uh, sims sometimes, I'm telling you. I don't get it. I really, really don't. Can we not invite Derek to the party? No. That's gotta be a joke. I need him here for the family pictures. 
That makes me a little upset. Whatever. All right, the only one we need is a mixologist. And then we'll go ahead and full send the party. We'll do it for, we'll do it for like two in the afternoon because now we have a lot of time to get prepared for the party. And now that they're over here and she ready is really close with them, um, we should be fine and just ready to go for the party. So that's always a plus. Oh, wait a second. There's something on the fridge. Or on the fridge, on the stove. Resume your cooking. I don't know. He just like left it. Like, in real life, that would have already been burnt, but, you know, it's The Sims, so there's that. Um, alright, where the heck is Diamond? I don't even know where Diamond is. Oh my god, wait, did we fill up Diamond's bowl? Hold on. We didn't fill up Diamond's bowl. Oh my god, okay, I'm sorry, doggo, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we'll fill your bowl up, don't you worry. There you go, Diamond. Oh no, she needs a bath. Give Diamond a bath, she's already smelly, that's not a good thing. Okay, so here's the the seo pow, seo pow, our clam chowder, and I don't think that Stephanie ever made the sugar cookies, so we can go and have her bake them and just have them ready for the party, um, and then we'll send them to bed, and in the morning, when they wake up, I will cut back when the party begins, because I'm really excited, I just want to dive right into it, so, um, party hardy, boys, party hardy. Are you done with the dog? Thank god. Okay, she she gave the bath to the dog. The dog's good. She's gonna cook some sugar cookies, and then it will be party time! Okay, you guys, it is basically party time. Um, I got Stephanie dressed up, as you can see. She looks absolutely stunning, not gonna lie. Um, everything in her outfit is literally gold. Um, because she thinks she's, you know, that fabulous just to wear all gold. So she's dressed in gold. Uh, Mr. Dalton here is kind of smirking, looking at her. I think he's really into her right now. Um, they're absolutely adorable, though. I'm not going to lie. They are super, super cute. I'm going to have them kiss each other because I think it'd be really, really cute to get a screenshot of them kissing in their, like, you know, their literal formal wear. I think it's absolutely adorable. So let's have them go ahead and kiss each other. And then the party's going to start in literally like 10 minutes, so that's really exciting. And look at them! It's so cute! You guys, this is absolutely adorable. Okay, I need to get it at like this angle. Actually, no, I need to have him kiss her because I don't like the pose. I don't like the pose. I feel like Dalton should be the one grabbing Stephanie's head, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. See that? That's better. And I kind of like them, so they're like, you know after kissing or right before they're kissing. It's kind of cute, so. Um, but the party is gonna start. I'm super excited. Um, Haley's gonna arrive, and so is everybody else. Not entirely sure what outfits are gonna come dressed in, so we're just gonna, you know, play along with whatever they show up in, and it's gonna be a good time. Um, let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and place down a few- wait a second. Haley's already here. She's already outside, like, stomping around in the garden. I don't know what she's doing. It's kind of funny. Um, but we're gonna place down our little statue poser guy already. Um, I think we're gonna do some couples pictures first, and then we'll go ahead and have them pose as a family a few times. Why are you, you changed your outfit? Are you kidding me? No. Um, I put you in your formal for a reason, so please put that back on. Uh, thank you. Okay, um, let's have him come over here, teleport a sim to here, let's teleport Stephanie, and then we're gonna teleport Dalton. And then this is how you work this mod, it's actually kind of cool. So you click on the sim you want to pose, and then you go pose by pack, and then you go and you scroll down and you try to find a couple's pose, so this one is probably pretty good all my life, this is a really cute one. Um, we're gonna go ahead and find a standing pose of some sort, let's go ahead and do... Let's do... Let's do this one. This one might be cute. Male 8, so then it would be female 8, we have to remember that. Okay, now let's click on Stephanie, click on her face, more choices, pose by pack, go down to the SB all my life, and female 8. And then all you have to do is just hit play, and they'll automatically go into that pose, and they'll hold like that for a while. So then all we have to do is click on this and have him come over here and take a quick photo of them. This is going to be super adorable. I'm really into this photography station. It's absolutely cute. 
See that? And then you can obviously switch orientation, which we're probably going to do because we can't get a full idea of this image. And we can even rotate around the area. I kind of want to get it at like an angle, maybe like right here. That's kind of a cute angle. And then we're just going to go ahead and take some pictures. That's a good. Um, we can always add filters on as well and change the sizes. So let's make this gray one, black and white, and Cephia this middle sized. Um, we'll go ahead and make this warm one, the big size here. Uh, we'll go without a filter for a big size as well, without a filter for a little size, a sepia for a little size, and then we'll change the orientation of this as well. And we'll have them, we'll go a little bit closer or something like that, and then we'll go back to normal. Take a little one like that, a big one like that, a middle one that's warm, and a middle one that is sepia. There we go. And then we have some really cute pictures of the couple. Um, we'll put them maybe in one more pose. Like, let's see what this actual screen allows them to do for poses, because who knows, it might be a cute thing to experiment with. Let's see here. Um, let's just have him, I think you can just click on this and then take picture of Dalton and Stephanie. And then I think they will automatically go and stand in front of it and then they will take their photo. I don't know what Stephanie's doing. She's just being, being Stephanie, I guess. Um, let's see what poses come, like, brings up with this, because I don't, I don't recall what you can do with this. So they're just some kind of cute classic, uh, photos. Uh, let's see. So you click on that and you can change the way they look. So there's a goofy one that would be kind of cute to do. An excited one. Oh. <laughs> Sad one. We've got a love one. That one is really adorable. Uh, okay, that one's kind of Stephanie's alley right there. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do the love one for sure. That's super, super cute. We can go ahead and zoom in even more if we wanted to, maybe a little bit out, and then we'll kind of scroll in to zoom in. Cause I want a really cute, like, want a really cute picture. Um, so let's go ahead and do that filter for a small one. We'll do the large one with this warming filter. I absolutely love that filter. Gray one, a sepia one, and then we'll do the same with the middle ones. Very, very cute. I love this. Okay, and now I think maybe we get Haley in for the picture as well. Um, let's see. Where is Haley? Haley should be here. Here's Haley. Let's have him come over here and... Friendly introduction with Haley, because I think he doesn't know her, and that's why the option's not coming up to get her in the picture with them. Because so I feel like an original family photo, you know, because they're... Haley's their daughter, it'd be a really cute one to um, do. Do an impression. Just make sure he knows her. Okay, perfect. Alright, and then we're gonna go over here and take a photo. Oh no. Are they wicked whimsing right now? Come on, you guys. Stop. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Stop. All sex. Thank you. Oh god, it was Jennifer Lawrence and the bartender? I don't really think that would happen, but yeah, okay. Oh, no, don't take photo, don't take photo, don't take photo. Take picture of Haley, Stephanie, and Dalton. That's what I wanted. Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's have him introduce himself to Kelvin as well. Where's Kelvin at? There's Kelvin. You need to talk to Kelvin because I feel like Kelvin, Stephanie, and Haley should be the ones in the picture. There you go, friendly introduction. Now you know him, perfect, great, good. Um, then we're gonna have him come over here, take a photo of Haley, Stephanie, and Kelvin, do the original OG family, and then if we can find a really cool pose for everybody to pose in, I think we could try that out as well. Um, meaning, you know, everybody is in the, the immediate family, so Haley, Stephanie, Kelvin, Camilla, Jared, that kind of stuff. Now we're just waiting on Kelvin. I really want to see what poses this will come up with for three Sims, um, especially because none of them really have a strong relationship except for blood. Um, so we'll see how this plays out. Are you going to take their picture or what? Like, what's happening right now? Why is... <sighs> come on, what's going on right now? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's reset. Let's reset. Reset reset and reset now take photo of Haley, stephanie and kelvin 
please. And I'm going to cheat his need because he's literally only in the family to take the pictures. I know that sounds super bad, but that is the only sole reason why he's in this household in the first place, is to take pictures of our sims. Uh, that sounds kind of harsh, but it's the truth. Um, I just wanted cute photos, and I don't think you can just, you know, take them on a timer. So we had to have an extra sim here. Um, come on, take their freaking photo. Please? Please? Are they leaving? No. No, you guys can't leave. You guys can't leave. We're gonna reset her. Where'd Calvin go? Where is Calvin? Oh my god, did Calvin leave already? Oh my god, I'm so angry. No, 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 no. Kelvin? Where's Kelvin? Oh my god. You guys, I don't know where he went. Oh, I'm gonna have a freak out attack right now. I swear. Um, I don't see Kelvin anywhere. Did he just, like, dip? Dude, I think Kelvin just, like, ran and just left. Is he on the sidewalk anywhere? I don't see him. Oh my god. We were trying so hard at this. Okay, you know what? You know what? Nothing wrong with just some mother-daughter pictures. How about that? And then we'll call it a day. Oh my god. Take photo of... Wait, why are you... Talk to her so she doesn't leave. Tell her an insider story. Okay. And then tell her an unbelievable story. And then take picture of Stephanie and Haley. And then we'll call it a day. And then we'll call it a day. That was the ending of the series. I'm kind of sad. And I think I am going to show the screenshots at the end of this episode because I don't know if there's a better time. Oh no, Diamond's running away. Um, that's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> what a great way to end the series. Pet runs away, man. Oh lord. Oh, that's why they're not- Oh my god, Stephanie, get your butt over here. Teleport right now. Stephanie, what are you- stop, reset. Oh god, reset. Teleport here. Thank you. Are you taking their picture now? I don't even know what's going on. This is so annoying. Take photo of Haley and Stephanie, please and thank you. I've been trying to do this for friggin' hours now, thanks, okay. Oh, look at them! This is gonna be super cute, you guys. We can even do different poses. Um, so we'll start with this one. I think that's kind of a cute picture. We'll do this medium-sized one, and then we're gonna brighten it up because it is dark outside, and then we're gonna also rotate the view so we don't get that weird angle. We'll do, like, we'll do, like, this angle. I think that's kind of cute. There we go. So we've got Stephanie and Haley here. Let's do a warming filter on that as well. And let's try a different pose. Okay, that's relaxed. Haley looks sad. We're not going to do relaxed. Oh, yeah! A goofy mother-daughter photo. That's absolutely adorable. That is super cute. Yes. I think even Stephanie would be willing to do a silly daughter photo, you know, with her daughter. Um, that's super adorable. Let's do the brightening picture or brightening filter. What's the happy one? Uh, I'm not a fan of that one with those two. Not a fan of that one either. Not a fan of the, the sad one that looks, <laughs> looks so bad. It looks like they got bad news that somebody died. Um, I like this one. Maybe we can switch the orientation though. No, I think I like... Yep, I like this version better. And we'll zoom out. And I think this is a... Yeah, this is this type of photo. The hot dog version or landscape version as you would call it. Um, not a portrait version for layout. There we go. That's kind of cute. I'll do that in a big one. We'll do the happy one in a big one and we'll rotate the view if we can. That's super cute. This is a really cute picture. I want to get like super close in their faces, but not super, not too close. Like that's really cute. We'll do the warming filter on that as well. And a smaller photo. Uh, what else can we do here? Oh, you guys, this one is absolutely heartwarming. This is so cute. All right, I want to do one long version of this. That is so freaking cute. We'll do it in large and we'll do black and white. And then we'll do a medium sized one like this. 
And we'll do this one in Cephia, and then we'll do a warming filter on it as well. Cephia and the warming filter. That is so cute. That is what I wanted in life. All right, now you can leave, Haley, if you really want to. Um, I feel like maybe we can display these on the lot. I don't- maybe just on this wall. There's really no point in hanging them up, I guess. Um, I wanted to take them for the purposes of the screenshots at the end. Um, so we'll just hang up some of the best ones. Uh, I'm just gonna hang up all of these sizes so we can see what we got with, you know, what we got to work with here. Um, I definitely want this one for sure. I kind of honestly don't like this one at a big size. We'll sell it. Uh, we'll put this one back in the inventory. We'll do... We'll put the Haley one right in the middle. Uh, right here. We'll put this one like that. Uh, and then we'll put... We'll put this, we'll sell this one actually. We'll do this one down here. We'll set the filter. We'll do this one black and white. That's kind of cute. And then we'll sell this one. We don't need all these big pictures, just a couple. Um, we have some middle ground pictures here. I'm just gonna place them down so we can see what we're working with. And we have some of these as well. Where do we wanna put those? I'm gonna hit escape. Is there a bigger wall I can see these on? Yeah, like over here, this would be a good one. I'm just gonna place them all down so we can see what we're working with. And then we can sell a few. This is so cute, you guys. This is so heartwarming. I am not ready for the series to be done. I really like a Get Famous and everything this pack has to offer. It's absolutely, it's just, it's so fun. Okay, so we'll go into Build Buy. This will make things a little bit easier. Plus we can reorganize them. Um, so maybe we get rid of the Cephia one for this. I feel like it fits better with this one. Um... I like this brighter uh, filter versus the original. Black and white doesn't work with that as well. Um, let's see, what else do we got here? These are pretty similar. I still like the warming filter better. Same for that one, I like the warming filter. Um, I like this one, this one's really cute. We don't have that in another size similar to that, so we'll keep it. Um, I think I wanna keep all the rest of them. I feel like those are super cute. I kind of like the black and white better than the Cephe on that one, though. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we will hold down shift, and this is how you reorganize photos. As long as you have bb.move objects on, you can place things anywhere you want them to be placed, and it allows for, like, a cooler collage of images if you organize your pictures this way and actually take time to lay them out. I think it's a good idea personally, um, because then you can make a whole wall of photographs look absolutely incredible. I'm not even going to lie when I'm saying that, because it's true. Um, I've done so many different collages <laughs> in The Sims with pictures, like family photos I've taken, and even just like paintings that my Sims have done. Um, it's just, it's a really good time, uh, and they it always looks super cute, so... Depending on the way you lay them out, obviously, but I think they always turn out absolutely stunning. So this is actually a pretty good stopping point for this collage wall, I think. This is pretty well spread out. And then we'll put a few, I guess, um, or we can just put the remaining in the um, in Stephanie's inventory, because I feel like we don't need all of these. Wait, what are these ones? Oh my god, it's her and Judith, and like... And Jennifer as well? What? Hold on, we might have to add a couple of those somewhere in the house. So, this is very blurry. I don't like the Cephia or the black and white with those, because it's just, you know, it's a best friend picture. I don't think... That's... It's kind of weird, you know? I don't think the warming filter works with Judas. We'll get rid of that one. We'll keep the warming filter with Jennifer. That's how we'll do it. This is so cute. Okay, and we'll go ahead and just throw the rest of this in her inventory, actually. Let's put frames on this. I want to see what this wall looks like when it's done, you know? Um, we'll add a black frame to all of this stuff. Oh my god, it already, it already looks super good. Maybe these middle ones need to be moved around just a little bit more. Um, because they are touching the frames, that is. Let's see, black, black build mode. 
and then we'll make sure this looks super good. Okay, so this one can actually be moved over a little bit more, so then we can center this one a little bit more, and we can move this one to fit at that end, and this one to match up at that end, and we'll go up and a little bit over with this picture, up and a little bit over with this picture, and center this in between those two. Actually, we have a little bit more room for that, so we can kind of space these out perfectly. Perfect. And then we'll go up and a little over, and we'll go up and a little over. There we go! Oh my god! You guys, you can't say that this does not, like... This just feels like home. When you add your Sims pictures to the house... Oh god! It's clipping through the top. Um, but when you add your Sims pictures to the house, it really does make it feel a little bit more homey. And I guess that's just that's what I like to do with my homes. I feel like the houses just don't feel right without this kind of a feature in the house. If that's just me, I don't know. Um, but I just I really like displaying photographs of my Sims because again it feels like they're actually you know like they actually own the house it's their house it's home I think that's absolutely adorable I'm gonna take a picture of that wall um, but anyways guys that was it for this video I'll, th I'll probably throw in some screenshots at the end so we can kind of close the series on a happy note um, but again if and if you okay another thing before I end. If you guys want this house, I'm gonna work on putting it up on the gallery. It might take me a lot longer if I add things to it. However, I am thinking to just upload it the way it is, obviously without this photography station and stuff. But I think maybe since it's nostalgic to the series, I'll just upload it the way it is. And if you guys want to make changes to it, you're free to do so. But anyways, guys, I am going to end this episode here and the series here. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave this video a huge like. And subscribe to my channel because I am going to be starting a new series very, very soon. Um, because all my current ones are kind of coming to a close. Sorry, I wasn't, I wasn't like starting to cry or anything, I promise. Um, that was like, I just had a weird like frog in my throat. But anyways, subscribe to my channel, like this video. And until next time, guys. Well, there's no next time for the series. But until my next video, hoot out. <laughs>